You're watching another great catfishing video from Learn to Catch Catfish with your host, professional guide, Chad Ferguson. Catfishing TV covers tips, tricks, and information to help you learn how to catch more and bigger catfish on your next fishing trip. The ultimate resource available for expert catfishing information. After watching, make sure you visit learntocatchcatfish.com. Now, here's your host, Chad Ferguson. Hey, this is Chad Ferguson, learntocatchcatfish.com. And one of the questions we got repeatedly through the reader mailbag, the Ask a Catfishing question page on learntocatchcatfish.com, is how to bait a hook with cut bait and how to bait a hook with shad. So I'm going to give you two different videos here. I'm going to show you one on how to bait a hook with shad and another video, which is this one, on how to bait a hook with cut bait. So if you're looking for more information on how to bait a hook with whole shad, then look for the other video. Um, this one is specifically more towards cut bait. Now, baiting a hook with cut shad or cut bait, um, this is the uh, Daiichi circle chunk light circle hook that I'm using. And what I see a lot of people do, and the best place to hook shad is, is always um, in the toughest portion of the bait. And the toughest portion of the bait is going to be right through here and right through here on the head in the middle section. And what I see a lot of people do is run a hook through like this to bait this hook. And this is particularly problematic, especially with circle hooks. Because once that bait gets in the water and it starts moving around in the water, what happens is it will flip around like this and it will hook itself again. So you end up with a piece of bait like this with uh, the hook penetrated through the bait again, the gap of the circle hook is not open, and your hook, uh, hook tip is not exposed, uh, which can be particularly problematic when you're trying to hook a fish. So whenever you bait a hook, with cut shad or with any shad in particular, you always want to make sure that you double hook it. So you can either go through the back here and come back out like this and hook it like this um, is really the way that I prefer to do it. Come in one side and out the other. Um, there's a number of other ways you can do it. I know a lot of people who will go actually through the chunk of meat right here and then come back out the top like this. Um, but you just want to make sure that you have that bait hooked in a manner that it doesn't flip back around and double hook itself like I showed in that previous photo. So if you have that bait hooked, like even like that is really too loose because that bait can flip back around and hook itself again. And uh, it's just kind of eaten up there where I've been hooking it and unhooking it. So make sure that you hook that bait in a fashion that will not allow it to flip back around and fill up that gap of the hook and penetrate that hook point. You can do the same thing with the head there. Um, you can hook it through the back like this and then come out like that uh, and that'll work pretty well. Or you can come in through here through the mouth or the nose and come up or just go through the side and kind of go back like that and then hook it that way. And that'll keep that bait from flipping around and filling the gap up on that hook. So that's the way that you hook shad when you're going to fish it as cut bait. Uh, for more information, to get more tips and tricks on fishing for catfish, whether you're after blue cat, channel cat, flathead cat, doesn't matter. Go to learntocatchcatfish.com and get more information. When you're done watching this video, go down to the bottom of the page, regardless of which website you're on, leave us a comment and let us know what you think and what other information you would like to know about fishing for catfish so we can make sure that we get your questions answered to help you learn more about catching catfish in your home lake or river. Until next time, this is Chad Ferguson, learntocatchcatfish.com.